Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. If you do any work with FPGAs, or are thinking about getting started with FPGA, or even know what FPGA stands for, then chances are you're aware that we recently released the Alcatry FPGA boards. Now, it's been a minute, so we thought it was probably time to expand that line. That's why this week we're introducing two new boards. Allow me to present the Alcatry AU Plus development board and the Alcatry FT element board. The Alcatry AU Plus is the bigger, stronger, faster sibling of the original Alcatry AU by almost three times. For logic array blocks or configurable logic blocks, it offers 7,925 as compared to 2,600 on the AU. It's got 101,440 logic elements or cells courtesy of its Arctic 7 XC7A100T. And if you want to talk RAM bits, the AU Plus has over 4 million of them. 4,976,640 to be precise. It has 256 megabytes of DDR3 RAM. Its 102 I.O. pins operate at 3.3 volt logic level, and 20 of them can be switched to 1.8 volts for LVDS. It also offers nine differential analog inputs, one dedicated and eight mixed with digital I.O. It has eight general purpose LEDs, along with a single onboard button usually used for reset. It has a 100 megahertz onboard clock, but if 100 megahertz isn't your speed, no worries, it can be multiplied internally by the FPGA. It also has a USB to serial interface for data transfer and a USB-C port which you can use to configure and power the board. Additionally, it can be powered via headers or its 0.1 inch spaced pins. The Alcatry FT Element Board is a simple expansion board similar to a shield or a hat that has four 50 pin board to board connectors allowing you to stack elements. And here's the cool part, a USB 3.0 200 megabytes per second high speed interface to your Alcatry board stack via a USB-C connector. A couple of things to note here. First, the FT element board can only be used with the AU and AU Plus development boards as it's only compatible with the Arctic 7 FPGA found on those two boards. Also, and this is a big one, the AU Plus is a pricey board. And if I'm to be completely honest, it's probably more than a lot of you need. I mean, if you take a look at Justin's clock clock project, that's the giant digital clock that he made out of a bunch of smaller analog clocks and the hands go around and create the giant digits. It's so cool, you gotta take a look at it. But if you look at that and realize that he made that with the AU board, you've gotta be working on something massive to need three times that much real estate. And if you're just starting out with FPGA, honestly, I wouldn't recommend this board to you any more than I'd recommend a Lamborghini to a 17 year old who just got his license. It's just more than you need. But it is good to know that when you do get to the point where you need it, it's here waiting for you. And if you do need this much real estate right now, and I know some of you do because you've written in and asked us about it, well then head over to sparkfun.com and pick up your Alcatry AU Plus development board. And while you're there, grab the Alcatry FT element board as well. And remember, and I'm serious this time, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. Okay, check for lights and levels, but hey, if it works, we'll keep it. First, the, what's this thing called? That is if I say all the words right. Come on, head over to Spark Fun. Ah, oh, so close. <clears throat> Seven FPGA found on those two boards. <laughs> As it's only compatible. <clears throat>